Hi, just a very quick behind the scenes video. I have the keys to my new storage unit. Here it is here, storage unit slash workshop. Um, it's not as bunkery as my existing bunker, which I still have. But anyway, just got the key. I have not opened it. Um, well, I've been in there before, um, but I had all this stuff and apparently uh, the contracts were just signed. So I'm sure the uh, solicitors met in a uh, you know dark underground well, this car park, a dark underground uh, car park in trench coats and uh, exchange the contracts and it's now all mine. So let's go in and have a look at my new storage unit, which I can use as, well, whatever I damn well want. Well, key works, key works. It's supposed to be mostly cleared. Let's have a look. Lights. It does actually have an automatic sensor apparently. So, ta-da, we're in, here we go. Sorry if the audio sucks, I am using a uh, wired, I am using a lapel mic and I've got my wide angle on. So it might look bigger than it is. I think it's about 30 odd square meters. I think it's 31, 32, something like that, but it, it is empty. Um, I'm not sure what they've left over here. I'm not sure why they've left that, whatever the heck that is. Um, it's a big board. Mm, okay, <laughs> not a big deal. Anyway, um, they did ask me if I wanted these uh, cupboards, uh, cupboards and uh, shelves here, and I said, yeah, leave them there because I can't really do anything else um, along that wall, really, because it's like it's too close to the door over there. So yeah, um, so I just said, yeah, leave them. They'll be they'll be handy, I'm sure. Otherwise, what am I going to do? Buy new stuff? I mean, I can buy big storage racks like I have in my bunker. Look at these fantastic storage racks from Sam the Storage Man. I think he's still in business. And uh, yeah, they're fantastic. I could probably put another bunch of those along there. So I'm not sure what I'm going, well, what I'm going to do with this. Please leave it in the comments down below. But uh, anyway, they did leave a... Uh, Desk, I said, yeah, leave a desk. I'll use that as whatever, you know, just to do stuff on. Um, they've left a, a cane, walking stick thing. I don't know what the deal is there. But uh, anyway, apparently, um, yeah, apparently that is a light sensor, like an automated um, sensor. There's another one up there. Apparently it's a wireless light sensor thingamabob so the lights can come on. So yeah, one of the first things I've got to do is um, actually coat the floor. Uh, I did this in my bunker. I coated it with, uh, you know, some, I don't know, latexy paint, uh, you know, which is designed for concrete floors and stuff just to prevent any concrete dust and stuff like that. Um, and that uh, that's worked really well. It has chipped away in a few places where I've dragged stuff across it and things like that in the bunker, but yeah, here it is. Isn't it great? This is all mine. And the great thing about this, like my bunker's already big enough. My bunker's like 44 square meters. It's almost as big as my lab. But the great thing about this, and I've done a video on you know, how I've been waiting 10 years to get one of these, there are only like four of these storage units for the entire building of like 50 companies. So yeah, I, <laughs> I feel very lucky to actually uh, get one of these. Sorry, I think my audio might be peaking. I might lower my voice a bit. Uh, so yeah, it, um, it's, it's got lights. Um, I'll have to improve those, of course. I've got heaps of light panels uh, left over from uh, previous labs. It's actually got ventilation. Let me, yep, yep, I can feel the ventilation coming out. Um, the one in my bunker, that only comes on when I turn the lights on. Um, and it, you know, you can actually hear it in the car park. I think this one might be constant though. Now, the other thing is, which I've been talking about on the EV blog forum is I want to get internet down in here. There's no phone reception. Otherwise I'd have a little, um, you know, I've got a wireless, uh, like a 3G, 4G, uh, modem -y, SIM card modem -y thing. Um, but I've already tried down here and I don't get reception maybe with the high gain external antenna, maybe, but I'm going to have to run probably Ethernet from my office. I'm going to have to get someone to install Ethernet directly from my office to here. That's the plan anyway, because um, it's probably about 80 meters or less. So it's within like the 100 meter spec of Ethernet, I believe, to go, you know, multiple stories up, come down. And then this thing is uh, this um, 
storage unit is only like 15 metres from the MDF room here in the uh, basement car park and my car park's right next to this so anyway yeah the reason I uh, wanted this is so that well I, my bunker's in another part of the business park and it's more inconvenient to like if I want to take big stuff I've got to like load up the car and take it there and you know it's <laughs> I can't exactly trolley um, stuff there, although I have, but it's like, it's really difficult. So this one is right next to my car parking space and it's, it, it's, it's right here. So I can put all my stock in here and everything else so I can buy more stock because I'm having problems with uh, stock at the moment. So I'd like to make larger purchases of stock because uh, there's com component supply problems and stuff. And uh, yeah, so um, this is great. And of course I can get everything out of my lab. So my lab can be pristine clear, stuff that I kind of like use occasionally, but I don't want to put it as far away as the bunker. Um, I can use this, which, what am I going to call it? The workshop, don't I call it the storage room? I call it the workshop. Anyway, yes, it does have power and lighting. Um, not all of these things, that looks like the only PowerPoint in here, but uh, yeah, I can um, obviously extend that to wherever uh, needed. So once I get power and um, internet in here, this will be fantastic. So yeah, it's not as good as the bunker. You know, the ceilings are very low. I can, oh, I can almost touch the ceilings, kind of. Couldn't touch this concrete here. Oh no, I'm like, oh, I'm so close. I'm so close. <laughs> but it's a mixture of uh, concrete and uh, and that uh, tin stuff that they put to separate floors in the buildings. And um, yeah, it does sort of have like a drainage channel under here with uh, the pebbles and stuff. So, um, but the uh, previous owner who I've met and I know, because um, he's like actually just down the corridor from me on my level, um, he uh, said, yeah, they've had no water ingress problems in here at all. So uh, yeah should be good don't know about moisture like oh yeah and he said yeah it had, it had no moisture problems and stuff like that so it's got a uh, fire um extinguisher for two fire three two it's got two fire outlet things no there's multiple ones over there so yeah they're those ones that um you know if flames hit them they automatically go off so there's no other smoke sensor in here though unlike uh, my lab that if I make any smoke and it sets it off I'm up for the 1800 bucks cost to call out the fire brigade but yeah there you go anyway let me I don't know what that is There's some plans shoved behind there I'll take a look at those later but uh, there it is there's the new EV blog storage unit and it's in my building it's just so convenient I can just like <laughs> all stuff down here and it's like literally a minute to get down to the lift down here and a tro perfect trolley access and everything else so like big uh, bits of test gear and stuff like that I, I don't have to keep them on my shelf a shelf I can just leave them down here if I need it it's a one minute trip down and a, a minute back up and it's like <laughs> it's so fantastic so technically now I've got like an 80 square meter lab and I can do some dirty stuff down in here I might install like a uh, drill press and I uh, have like a more mechanical stuff which I can't have in my nice office lab so yeah it's got an annoying pole in the middle of it but I don't know could use that for something anyway let me know what you think my new storage unit it's a Bobby Dazzler and uh, for those interested um, financial side of things I won't tell you how much I paid for it but uh, it's um it's it's not in the six figures it's in the uh five figure uh range and uh it is a, a separate uh title so like I, I i own the thing i paid cash for it so it's not under any loan so i own this thing and uh i do actually have to pay additional strata fees on top of like you know like my regular office but not as much because it's a storage unit so I don't pay the same amount of strata fees per unit so it might cost me like a couple of thousand and there's council rates as well um, so it might cost me like a couple of thousand a year to actually um, you know to actually uh, keep this thing but that's way cheaper if I was to rent a storage unit at Kennard storage one this size 
would be like a couple of thousand dollars a month at least. Um, so yeah, and of course, if I ever, it's an asset, so if I ever sell it, um, I, there's no way I'll lose money on it. <laughs> I'll always get my money back because these things are so rare. As I said, there's only four of these in the entire um, building, I, I, I believe. So yeah, they're rare as hen's teeth and I was lucky to grab this one. So yeah, fantastic. It's another asset and uh, yep, terrific. I can store all my stuff, like, because the lab at the moment is so full of crap and we're storing the stock in the lab as well. So we've got the, um, I won't do packaging down, <laughs> down here, still do that up there, but you know, stock, because I order like, you know, a dozen boxes of multimeters at a time. Um, now I, I can even order more now. So yeah, I can store them all down here as well as all my gear, get a few racks. So first step, painting. Next would be the acoustics, of course, because I might want to shoot some video in here. So, you know, I've got to treat it acoustically, but I've got spare acoustic uh, panels and I've got spare light as well. I can light the crap out of this thing. So yeah, cool bananas, huh? There you go. There's a first look at my storage workshop. The workshop, I don't know. If you've got a better name for it, let me know. Comments down below. Wide angle makes it look big. This is probably like what you'd normally see, something like this. So yeah, love it. It's all mine, mine. Catch you next time.